This interesting app just came into my life. It's called Lost Photos. And uh, what it does, it searches your email account um, all the way back, as long as you had your email account, and it pulls out any photos that you have either sent or received. Okay, and the premise of this app is that the photos that we mail and receive from and send to family and friends and old girlfriends are probably the ones that mean the most. And like most people, you live a fast life and you don't always save everything that you send or in a place you can find it later. So here's, a, here's an opportunity to use an app to scour your email and pull out all the old treasures that you've completely forgotten about that, that mean something to you. Okay, so again, Lost Photos, it's an app that's available for Mac in the Mac App Store. It's also available for Windows. So there's a free version of it and that really won't do you any good because all it does is searches, uh, pulls out, I think, a couple hundred emails or a couple hundred um, photos. And that's really not much. So uh, the full app will cost $2.99 and that'll search the entire email account. And most of us would need that. Like my Gmail goes back probably 20 years. Whenever Gmail started, that's that's where it goes for me, okay? So I'm gonna download it and install it on the computer here and let's get going. So that's easy enough to do. And, and I need to put in my password and now we're going to find my photos. So it's uh, searching my entire Gmail account which goes back quite a number of years. I know I've gone back and deleted some things in the past um, when my box was getting full. Um, so I'm sure I deleted a lot of juicy pictures then. So I'm only going to have maybe pictures from the last 10 years. <laughs> that should be plenty, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to just uh, let this run. And Okay, well, this is, uh, this is going well. It's already recovered over a thousand photos in just over 2,000 emails. So it's got quite a few more emails to look through. And it's been going about 20 minutes now. So that's just a quick update and we'll be back when it's done. Well, here's something interesting that happened. And it probably won't happen on all email accounts, but it, uh, it, it paused its search and it says, we've paused the finding photos because we found a lot of them today and some mail services have strict limits about how much data can be downloaded in a day so they recommend that we wait and resume the search tomorrow so the account doesn't get temporarily disabled well okay something to hang out. all righty looky there it's finished um took a total of probably an hour and a half to scan over 100,000 emails in my Gmail account, and uh, it pulled out over 3,000 photos. So the options, I mean, you can post them to Facebook or Twitter or uh, email them. I don't think I want to do that with 3,000 photos, but I think maybe I'll just like to put them into my iPhoto. I don't use iPhoto for much, actually. I prefer uh, using Lightroom to organize my photos as well as process them. It's kind of an all-in-one thing. Um, but iPhoto is good. It's, um, it's fast. It just doesn't have all the capabilities that I need in photography that I get in Lightroom. So uh, that's why I don't use it. But for storing photos, it's great. So let's import them into iPhoto. Okay. Interesting. Well, there's some incredible old stuff back there. <laughs> okay, um, we'll let this finish. All the recovered photos are now imported into iPhoto, and we can look at it and see what we have. So it was it was kind of fun going through these. Um, <laughs> lots of. Lots of old memories. My niece's wedding, back when I was in real estate. Um, just, I mean, a lot, a lot of stuff. Thailand, 
there. Um, I did find one very interesting photo, so well worth the price of admission. Uh, at least for me it is. It's a memory. It's not that great a photo, but it's a memory. Um, used to be my screensaver on an old Windows laptop, and I uh, lost that photo. I couldn't recover it from Windows, and it just it went away. So I asked May about it. She didn't have it, and so I was kind of lamenting the loss of this one. But I found it! So I can clean it up now, reprocess it again, make it look a little better, and I'll probably use it for a screensaver again. So that's a memory, and that's that's what this program gives you back, some of the stuff that you lost that you really wanted to have. Um, this photo was in it too. That's a selfie I took and uh, with my iPhone. And, and I made my Captain Photo logo out of that for, um, for my website and for my G Plus account. And made that into a collage of ships and lightning and the ocean and mermaids and stuff. Um, so that's good to have that one back. And then, of course, some memories from Alaska and uh, family birthdays, my fishing buddy. Uh, can't have too many pictures of the old man with big fish. So uh, it's recovered lots of stuff. Yosemite with May and uh, India yoga trip. That's not me. Um, a Bali lotus. And then a lot of iPhone shots that I processed in the phone. I do a lot of that, a lot of iPhoneography, and send those off, and I never see them again. So a lot of those came back. There's another one of those iPhone shots. So there's a lot um, that came back to me, and it's going to be fun going through iPhoto and picking out some more of these uh, little gems that could have been lost forever. So that's it. It's called Lost Photos for Windows and for Mac, $2.99. It'll bring back all your memories. You'll love it when you get old and have Alzheimer's.